not the best looking one in the world, but it's a ridge nose rattlesnake nonetheless. Barking frogs. Jeff is a little bit excited about these frogs. This is insane. So steep. <sighs> okay, so they stopped calling. So we have to turn off our lights and listen. Oh, there's one below us. There's one right here. Yes, 100%. You got it? 1,200 foot elevation straight up. <laughs> yeah, for this moment right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Good morning, everybody. I am starting out my day with a Mojave rattlesnake in a bucket. A friend of mine called me, said their friend who works at this business complex in Mesa had one there, so I just ran over there to grab it and to put it into a better spot than a business complex in Mesa. <laughs> Mojave rattlesnakes out here like flat, sandy, like grassy type deserts. There's a lot of opportunity to hide and get cool in the day. And I think that's the ticket right there. Woo, it's a pretty one. Oh, that is exactly what he needed. Nice deep hole for it to spend the day in. So a lot of our viewers really like watching those rattlesnake relocation videos that we do once in a while. If you like those kinds of things, our friend Brian with Rattlesnake Solutions is starting a channel and is doing some great work with uh, relocation videos on YouTube. I'm actually doing a couple uh, relocations there. So if you're interested in that kind of thing and you wanna watch a lot of relocations and rattlesnakes being removed from precarious places like houses and backyards and garages and businesses and things like that, you'll really, really like it. So subscribe to their channel and you'll see Brian and me and Marissa and Nick and a couple other guys over at Rattlesnake Solutions doing some great work. Well, I'm gonna get back to it and finish up work for the day because I'm meeting up with Burke. It has been a long time since we've herped, herped together, like a long time. Our schedules never align or anything like that, but I'm gonna go herping with him tonight and hopefully we can get some cool stuff on video. All right, guys, we are out walking around, oh, jeez, in the woods, <laughs> and we are looking for some snakes. We're hoping to do some road cruising and looking for some frogs tonight because it rained, but we're gonna try to manage some snake of some kind. That would be nice. Yeah, so we're gonna walk around and see what we could do. So there's a rattlesnake in this area. There's a Rigenos rattlesnake, Crotalus willardi, and they are very well blended into this environment. You can walk right past them. They know how cryptic they are. They know they blend in well. They're a smaller rattlesnake, so their coil will be about that big. Pretty good. That's Can't cool. go wrong with that. It's not the best looking one in the world, but it's a Rigenos rattlesnake nonetheless. All right, well, here's a little Rigenos rattlesnake that we found in the rain. <laughs> We've been like walking around in the muggy, nasty, sweaty, wet place. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's in shed, that's why it's kind of opaque and it's kind of got the blue eyes. But as you could probably see, or not see, they're not very easy to see on this ground. Ridge-nosed rattlesnakes are adapted for the forest floor up here in the Sky Islands here in uh, southern Arizona and in Mexico. They live in the leaf litter, they live in the pine needles, they live in the in all of the the organic material that's on the ground and they blend in very, very, very well. Rizno's rattlesnakes are like my favorite, my favorite. If, if you ask Burke or if like anybody, I love Rizno's rattlesnakes. But what's really interesting is they actually eat a lot of invertebrates like centipedes, especially when they're young, they'll eat centipedes as one of their main food sources, which is pretty cool. We're going to let this thing go and maybe we'll find some more snakes today. All right guys, so the next snake of the day is a gorgeous little black neck garter snake, which is always cool. But black neck garter snakes are way cool too. Where are you? Black neck garter snake. It's kind of sitting in this dry creek here. Pretty cool, we'll snap some photos and let them go. I drove to a completely different mountain range, got two and a half hours away, and it is currently raining. I then opened my bag, my camera bag, and then I realized my camera wasn't in the bag. So I know where I put it, where I know the last time I was photographing a snake. So now I have to drive back, I have to hike out there, and I have to find my camera. So, kerbluey. And hours and hours later, 
There's my baby. Oh, hello. It in fact turns on. <laughs> I don't want to talk about that that was literally a two hour and 40 minute drive to get this back. And not to mention, I got two and a half hours to where we were gonna cruise. And then when we got there, I was like, oh, let me get my camera out. Oh, it's not there. Anyway, sorry about my... <sighs> anyway, I got it. Life is good. Where are we going for, Jeff? Barking frogs. Barking frogs. Jeff is a little bit excited about these frogs. It's just so fun to see you all excited. I am so excited. <laughs> this is what we came for. We got a long ways to go. These are my life for barking frogs. You can hear them from a long ways away. So we got a lot of hiking to do up this mountain, but we're gonna make it happen and find some crabass here. Let's do it. Look how high up we are. Holy crap, dude. <laughs> what? This is insane. It's so steep. Oh, oh gosh. Whoa. The top of that and listen. Yeah. Okay, so they stopped calling, so we have to turn off our lights and listen. Like this is a, like literally the cars below us are like tiny. <laughs> they literally hold their butts. Like I think, I, think we, I think we did some, probably a thou almost a thousand foot elevation. I would say just straight up under pure adrenaline. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna hate tomorrow. You got it? All right guys, right here is my lifer, Crowgaster, the barking tree frog, and they're huge. Like 1,200 foot elevation straight up. Yeah, for this moment right now. <laughs> As it gets away. Yeah, it'd be a funny moment. Oh, there we go. Hello, little Crowgaster. Oh my gosh. That is a cool frog. Look at his feet. Oh Look my at his feet. gosh. Look, Look at his at feet. That. Look at that. Probably zoom up on it. Feet adapted for climbing on the rough, rocky surfaces. Yeah. What a cool old frog. It's all puffing up. Like, yeah. Don't eat me. And look at how he's blended in like that. That is the coolest frog, dude. I am so stoked about this frog, dude. <laughs> this is my first one ever. Oh. And there goes another one calling down there. <laughs> Cliff dwelling tree frogs that I mean, you would think that you get them calling next to ponds or something like that, but these guys are way up in the rocks. You know how in the tropics, how tree frogs are way up in the canopy? These guys are way up on the cliffs. And we literally hauled our butts, we parked our car, and literally we're looking at the road, just go by, and those cars are tiny. We hauled butt, the adrenaline got us going, and uh, we are now sitting in front of these magnificent barking tree frogs. And thanks to Jeff's amazing call, as you heard many times. <laughs> Sounds like he's choking on a Cheerio or something. <laughs> this is They're not barking frogs, they're choking Cheerio. <laughs> they're choking Cheerio frogs. <laughs> As you saw, he was just perched up right there perfectly. Just like that. Sitting there in this perfect little habitat with his little mossy bed and his rock waiting for a lady. We're gonna snap some pictures of this guy. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as we did. Um, but yeah, we're gonna keep getting some pictures. And... All right, let's get some pictures. We're gonna... Let this guy go right where he was, where he was calling. But I know he wants to go back where he was. There you go. He's, he's, tuck he's tucking way into that crack. See ya, dude. <laughs> That's awesome. Sweet. Heck yeah. Now we have to scale down a mountain without adrenaline. <sighs> and I mean, when I say down a mountain, I mean... That was quite the haul up. <sighs> Well, that was a successful trip and quite a haul. Big, oh, like a big, really tall. <laughs> yeah, I think our elevation gain on foot was about a thousand feet up, straight up. I don't know how we booked it up there like we did, but adrenaline is a beautiful thing. I'm gonna go get some caffeine before yes. we head out. <laughs> caffeine. Well, we're gonna hit the road. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. See ya. Bye.
just when we thought it was over. Hello, darling. You are doing just fine with your fat self. He's got some nice little oranges on him. Yeah, he's really cool. Kind of got a broken rattle. Goodbye, my friend. Yeah, you go. Stay off the road.